Hey there YouTube, just me Ted1969 here. Uh, we're looking at a little scale model of a three frequency geodesic dome that I've built. And I used uh, coffee stir sticks to make the thing. And uh, I bonded all the edges together with uh, masking tape to initially hold it and then some carpenter's glue. So then it got a little bit gobby in some of the hubs here as you can see. But that's the dome that I've constructed. And uh, I've left a little entrance opening here, and maybe I'll scale that up later on. So, uh, yeah, there was a real nice dome calculator on the web, and you put in your, uh, you can put in the diameter you want, or I think it's the radius of the dome that you're after, and it gives you all the measurements to cut out. There's really only three lengths you have to worry about uh, was the uh, there's three struts I have A struts B struts and C struts it'll tell you how many you need I think it was 30 40 and 50 of each of the lengths they come out to uh, one length one's a little bit longer and one's a little bit longer again so nothing too dramatic and what you get are hexagon shapes and pentagon shapes and when I say three frequency of a dome, what I'm talking about is there's between each pentagon hub, I have one strut, two struts, three struts to the next pentagon. And that goes right around the dome here. So one strut, two struts, three struts to... Oh, I goofed on that one. Let's try over here. One strut, two struts three struts for that one and one strut, two struts, three struts for that one and one strut, two struts, three struts, so three struts, three frequency. So yeah, that should have worked all along. One, two, three, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three. I guess it does work. I think I would just, uh, in between using the camera, I grabbed the wrong one there. So anyway, it's very light. And earlier what I had done was I just put some socks on each side of this to balance the load properly and I laid four good size hardcover books on here and it actually took the load quite well. And uh, you can see a little bit of flexing here and I don't want to do overdo it because it's just white uh, yellow carpenter's glue on, stir on the stir sticks but it worked quite well for me. I'm really pleased with how it's held out and uh, might look cute painted up. And maybe set it on to uh, some kind of a diorama scene or something. Anyway, it was just a great way to occupy myself for a few days. And uh, I'll try and post a link in the uh, video on YouTube to the calculating tool that uh, I used. Very handy to use site. And if you're interested at all in these geodesic domes, I highly recommend it.